Hello there, fine viewer. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a high quality FNF mod only using Flip a Clip without any knowledge of coding. Now, this is actually very simple. Only thing you're really going to need is just Flip a Clip, of course, obviously, and FNF Psych Engine. The first thing you're going to do is uh, make your sprite sheet, of course. After you're done with your sprite sheet, you're going to want to press this make movie button right here. Make sure to mark it as a PNG sequence and turn the background transparent. After that, it will generate your animation and make sure to save it to your drive or if you don't want to, just send it to a friend in Discord. Great, you're halfway there. Just make sure to re-download them off of your drive or off of Discord or whatever you did. And you're going to need to download something called sprite sheet generator for FNF. I'll leave the link in the description. After you have it downloaded, make sure to open it up and press this little green plus sign thingy to add all your sprites in. Feel free to name your sprite sheet to whatever you want to. And then you're going to want to click your frames to set your animations to whatever you want. Uh, personally, I like to start with the idle, so select all your frames for the idle animation and name it idle if you want, or whatever you want to. Then proceed with the other frames. Name your right pose to right, name your left pose with left, etc. When you're done with all your frames, make sure to press this generate XML file button thing, and it should generate your sprite sheet. Yeah, I'm pretty crappy at tutorials, so I don't know if I explained it detailed enough, but if you want a better tutorial, I'll leave a link in the description if you want. Anyways, after you go through all of that, boom, you have your sprite sheet. You have your sexy, cool, badass looking sprite sheet for your FNF mod. Now we need to actually add it in Psych Engine. First thing you want to do is open up Psych Engine, of course, and press the 7 key on the main menu. It should take you to this little menu right here. Just press through the character editor and it should take you where we need to go. Once you're here, make sure to type in whatever file name you gave it right into this bar right here and then press, press reload image. All right, press the animation tab, and you're gonna name it whatever the XML file you gave it is. Like for example, if I'm gonna do the idle animation, I gotta rename it to uh, its name, the file's name, and then put idle afterwards. Just basically put it wherever, like whatever file name you gave it in the generator. That is the best way I could describe it. I'm Again, I'm kinda crappy on explaining things, but I name it whatever it was called in the generator and if you forgot you can always pull up the generator and then type it in for each animation but yeah I, i'm terrible at explaining so i'll leave a link for another video that explains it better or you can just try following along if you can I forgot to mention, you can adjust the position a bit by using these keys right here if you need to. And if you want to position the animations, just hold shift. You can also change the icon if you want to. When you're satisfied, just press save and save it to your characters folder. 
after that your character should be fully modded in and wow look at him go i just wanted to say thank you for watching this video because i actually had a lot of fun making this and also had a lot of frustrating times where i just wanted to smash my keyboard in but i'm glad to help you out i just like to say thank you for watching and if this helped it would be really nice if you could subscribe i would really appreciate it and again thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye i love you Mwah.